In this video, I would like to show you how easy it is to push out a worksheet as a PDF in Nearpod um, for students to work on it independently. When you are at your My Lessons desktop, I want you to click on this button here called Create. You want to create the activity. It's going to give you a list of which activities you want to create. You want to choose Draw It. And then, as you can see here, you can upload that PDF as a background image. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. This worksheet is um, a worksheet about analogies. Up here, where it says instructions, you can actually type the instructions to your students, or you can actually record yourself giving those instructions um, orally uh, using this item here. Um, once you've done that and you like what you see, you can go ahead and save. It will save it. And first you want to title it. So I'm going to title it Analogies 1. And I'm going to go ahead and click and save it. And there it is. You can see it right away on your My Lessons desktop. If you want to preview it, you can see what students are going to be able to do with it. Um, using the Draw It features down here, a student can um, read the instructions and also they can circle using the that pen feature. They can also type in a response using the text feature right there. And all they would have to do is type baseball. And then they can literally shorten the window if they want to and drag it to uh, the area as you see here. So they would do that for all of these items um, and then submit this as an assignment in Nearpod. They can just complete it uh, when you launch this and assign it to them in whichever manner you would like. Okay, so that is um, a way you can assign a worksheet in Nearpod. Um, so let's assume that you want to create the using the same worksheet, you would like to make it a bit more challenging, perhaps to differentiate it for your students who need a challenge. Um, what I did was I went ahead and copied that PDF and in Kami, I erased the pictures there on the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and create another activity. Um, and I would assign this to perhaps, again, my students who need a challenge. So I did this in Kami. Um, you also have a license for Kami if you want to do this yourself. So here is uh, the same worksheet, but now the students are going to go ahead and insert a picture to complete this assignment. I'm going to go ahead and name this Analogies 2. I'm going to save it and you see it right here. And so when you click on the preview button, what the students would do is going back to that first one, it would say square is to box as round is to. And right here using the insert image, the students could insert an image to finish the worksheet as you see here and then they can resize it and they can drop it right next to. So in this case, um, the student would do the same thing for all of them. They can um, insert pictures uh, as opposed to circling a picture that was always that was already chosen for them. So that is a way that you can differentiate using the same worksheet. Um, editing it a bit, and then assigning it to your classroom as you would like. Thanks for watching this episode of the Curriculum Cafe. Click like and subscribe to join the cafe for more classroom tips from the TOA team.